Hey guys, what's up? Before this video starts, I want to say thank you to our sponsor, you! You guys are the sponsor of this video, and to say thanks for that all, uh, I want you to check out the Facebook group. It's free, it's for resellers, entrepreneurs, that kind of stuff. Uh, I might look a little bit different now than in about five seconds, but um, it's because I got a haircut. That's why. I just want to say thanks, guys, and uh, enjoy the video. Hey, guys, what's up? It's just about 10 a.m. on a Monday. Got my FedEx packages, Mercari buys over the week. Gonna flip those on Amazon. Uh, and also what happened this weekend is my girlfriend said she wants to buy a new duffel bag. Well, I looked at the prices. They're like 100 bucks. so new way. Uh, we have two goals today. Hit up thrift stores, find things we can buy to sell on Amazon to make more money, and also, find my girlfriend a new duffel bag so she didn't have to spend $10,000 or whatever it was. And she can still look cool. Let's go. Pushing the cart through the thrift store, seeing what we got. Furniture, ooh, nice, but I don't sell furniture. Let's check out the, uh, the appliances. Nothing really catching my eye. I'm here kind of often, so I'm not surprised. I'm not finding a lot of good stuff. No bags for my girlfriend. Um, I was kind of hoping they were going to have them here because it's a nicer thrift store. Uh, they've got nicer stuff, but nothing that really hits the, the, the look I'm going for. I want it to be like, you know, girly colors and kind of like retro and cool. If those were nicer Nike shorts, uh, if they were like made in USA, I would have bought them. They're not, not buying them. Um, no bags over here. Just again, checking like the suitcase area for any bags that got put here on accident. But, uh, but none of them. Let's check out large electronics now. Because I usually have a lot of luck there. So that's a DVD player, no. Uh, that would be a DVD-VCR combo. But the price is uh, 25 bucks. It's half off, though. So it ended up being half off that day. So I still bought it. Sony VCR. Uh, didn't look it up. It gets, it's a guaranteed sell. And then a Panasonic PV something or other. Um, you'll see in a second. And that's, again, easy money. Uh, I'm buying all three of those because I know they'll sell, and they'll sell really, really quick. So here are the goodies. No no duffel bags in there. But uh, I got these golf shoes, Nike golf shoes, Nike Air, uh, for $4.99, and they were half off, so that was just like $2.50. Um, so many VCR you saw. $9.99, the VCR on back. Always nice. A Panasonic VCR. No, um, no remote, but again, 100 bucks on that one. Five books that I got, uh, just because I was kind of bored, so I was scanning them. The books are all, the average profits are around like 10 bucks per book. Uh, a calculator back here too that snuck around, just like five bucks profit on there. And then um, finally the last thing is the, uh, the DVD VCR combo I got. The deal they had in the store was that if you spent over 50 bucks, uh, you got half off, so I paid half off on this. It was only twelve fifty, uh, and it'll go for about one thirty. So that's pretty cool. Back in the car, only one thrift store. It was kind of a dud. I mean, I got some good VCRs there, so I'll make money for sure. I spent forty bucks. Return's gonna be like three or four hundred in that range. So awesome, very cool. And when I'm in the store, I get a call from someone who wants to clear out their house. They just are they're downsizing for whatever reason, and they want to give me, give me. A phenomenal amount of stuff and I don't know what it is so we're gonna see this we're gonna go in blind and see what it is and it could just be someone giving me the trash or it could be a huge windfall stop to a little PTO thrift store I don't find the best stuff here but they do have good bags sometimes so again maybe I'll find one thing I can sell for me and hopefully a winner duffel bag for my girlfriend Next store, smaller store, lots of toys here. I buy uh, some little people or some little tyke stuff here occasionally, but nothing, again, is really catching my eye. Nothing that's going to be easy to sell for a lot of money. Everything here would require time searching through it. Uh, there's not a huge electronic section here, but I'm going to go there next and just see what they have. Yeah, oh boy, it's, uh, it's pretty empty. Occasionally, I will find some really cool retro stuff like that. Uh, Sony um, Walkman, so I'm actually going to buy that uh, for a couple bucks and sell it for a lot of money, but everything else here 
Ooh, a four, a four slot toaster. Let's see what brand this is. If it's like Viking, I'm totally buying that. But uh, something, something tells me it's not. It is, ooh, it's Black & Decker. Not a bad brand, or sorry, GE. Not a bad brand, but not what I want. The bags, this is kind of cool, to be honest. That bag right there, but it's not at all what my girlfriend likes. So it's staying, staying here for someone else. Uh, some decent brands. I saw REI down there. Again, not like the worst bags in the world, but nothing that she would be like, oh, thank you, I'm going to use this. Um, so it would just be, you know, trash as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, just going, just rifling through the bags, trying to find anything. And uh, I'm getting skunked! Getting skunked! Oh, this might be a longer day than, uh, than I thought. Ooh, there's a cool color. There's some nice colors, but it's a little kid's backpack. Yeah, a little... <laughs> My girlfriend is not six years old, so can't get her that. Um, that's pretty cool. Phoenix Coyotes, NHL hockey team. Uh, they must practice up around here in the summers. What do we have here? A guitar case looks like. Cool, probably worth some money, but not what I'm looking to sell. Uh, boy, oh boy. He ever failed so hard looking for a bag because I struck out like 95 times right here um on to the next stop my friends let's go so no no duffel bags in there ah right why I see duffel bags all the time and when I want to buy one I can't find them but what I did find is this right here. It's a cassette recorder. The uh, model number is Sony TCM20DV. And if you look up this bad boy that I paid $3.50 for, it's selling for $95 because obsolete electronics pay the bills, right? Right, let's go, more stops. That down there is a little kid's toy. It's called a beat bow. They are like little mixer machines. They sell for like 30 bucks. Luggage here. Nothing again really popping out to me. That's like a Jeep bag, kind of nice. Um, some stuff that's like not terrible, but it's not what I want. And I really popped in here only for like five minutes. And so to see nothing remotely good is kind of disheartening. And um, well, it's not what I want. Okay, Goodwill, not very good. No duffel bags! Ah, but I got two toys. Uh, Beat Bow, Bop, BB Bow, something like that. It's a toy. Uh, I got it for four bucks. I'll make about 25 bucks on that. And a Mozart Magic Cube for babies. Uh, I paid three bucks for that. I'll make about 30 on that as well. So, not great, but I mean, if I'm looking for a duffel bag and I'm getting 70 bucks a stop, just totally uh, secondary to my my main goal. Oh, okay, okay. We are at a value world. This value world is kind of dingy. They focus more on textiles and that kind of stuff. And I don't sell textiles really, but I do come here looking for uh, things for myself, you know, cool jerseys or shoes or whatever. I mean, occasionally I'll pop in here because it's so close to my warehouse, but I'm not expecting to buy anything except maybe uh, a duffel bag for Ashley or like a, a pair of shoes that might have fallen through the cracks no one else saw it's like right around noon so not the best time for this uh, it's gonna be busy in here I think but why not I've got a half hour to kill this thrift store is either really cool vintage stuff or nasty ass, gross, decroded shit that no one wants. What am I gonna find today? Well, we'll find out. Probably a little bit of both. That's a cool Pistons hat, but I'm not in love with it, so I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, they price things individually here too, so everything isn't like 99 cents. Some things are five dollars. Uh, that toy there, this one that I want to show you up here, this like robot toy, sales ranks a million going for 30 bucks i put it in my cart because i was so sure it'd be a winner i didn't even look it up until like 10 minutes later uh was not a winner but sometimes that happens you gotta roll with the punches going further a lot of really dirty toys little yahtzee handheld game those are always winners i'm paying 60 cents for it and i end up having a coupon for half off so 
why wouldn't I buy it, right? Sales rank is low, free money, not free money, but you get the point. That little toy there, the pop-up toy with the farm stuff is gross. That's a Mozart mini cube or whatever I called them earlier. My second one of those. Um, what else do I see here besides gross, nasty toys? Uh, nothing. Wait. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. That was not what I thought it was. I mean, this stuff could be good by itself on eBay, but I'm looking to sell it on Amazon uh, or Mercari, so I don't want to do a whole lot of making things and putting them together. I kind of just want to buy it and sell it. Uh, that is my my main strategy. Here, more electronics, less less uh, less toys. Whoa, a Tumi bag. That's pretty nice. Tumi is a good uh, luggage luggage bag. Too bad it's not about 10 times bigger. It'd be a great gift for my girlfriend, but uh, I'll buy that. And I'll sell that Mercari. Sony remote, 95 cents. Probably gonna be worth about 20 bucks. Uh, what else do we have in here? Some some zip drive discs, Fujifilm zip drive discs. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy those. I don't think they're worth any money. Maybe, let me keep looking. Uh, well, there's a few of them, so I'm going to look them up and see if they're worth any money. I don't think they are, but like a lot of 10 could be. Um, there was only two, so I put them back. Now, uh, home home stuff, kitchen stuff. Whoa! You know, that's Let's Lock Crusette, however you say it. I, look, I can see that a mile away for $2.12. That's a good deal. Whoa! Look how gross that is. See what I'm saying? It's nasty stuff. Out of that store, uh, those two Fisher Price toys I picked up, I ended up putting back because they were really dirty and really corroded, and I was only gonna make like 20 bucks on them, and it's just not worth the effort. But what I did pick up is a disgusting ass La Crusette, or ever, however you say it, uh, tea kettle. And I couldn't find any comps on it on eBay or Mercari or whatever, so I think it's kind of old. Um, it's got this like ziggurat type design on it, like a, you know, a, a, a stepped pyramid. Um, so I'm gonna do a little research on that and clean up. It is just disgusting. I think someone spilled like some sort of, some sort of sugary water on the bottom of it. But then in the other bag I got, uh, cause I, <laughs> I didn't put it in one bag, it was so gross. Another one of these bad boys, these Mozart mini cubes. Um, again, 20 bucks, 30 bucks profit on there. Uh, a remote, Sony remote for an old um, VCR, RMT V307. So I might keep it to put with the VCR uh, if I have it, or I might just sell it by itself. I found this, a little Tumi, I think it's a glasses case maybe, or a small little travel bag. Um, I think it's authentic. It, it, it has the Tumi patch on there, and it's so small. I don't, I don't think anybody would go through the hassle of faking this. The zippers, the zippers match. Um, let me see if you can see that. I think I showed you in the store. Those zippers match. And so if I, I paid 25 cents for it. If I can get 10 bucks out of that, whatever, some Mercari money. Uh, and then also um, a little handheld Yahtzee game. I paid 30 cents for this. So again, like 20, 30 bucks profit, not bad. I'm gonna go back to the warehouse now because the the load, like the, the hoarder load, what I'm gonna call it for now, uh, is is almost there and I'm gonna show you in the video what it is and we're gonna go to more thrift stores and hopefully find a gosh darn duffel bag this is what we've got then so what happened is is a, a lady had a bunch of stuff and didn't want to get rid of it and and there weren't auction houses around here to drop it off at so she just gave it all to us and it's all in the back of the car so even just like looking at it some new new video game stuff is a, a, a PS a PlayStation down there Hot Wheels stuff, um, looks like a lot of toy cars. I haven't seen any of this yet, so it's all new to me. But it looks like I see a Guitar Hero guitar right there. All this stuff, um, we're gonna be going through and selling real quick, and, and we'll, we'll first getting it out of the car, but then I'll be back trying to find uh, some more stuff at thrift stores this afternoon. Man, it is getting hot out. So, it's like 68, I just sweat too much. So I'm thinking, we're gonna do West Side Detroit suburbs. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see, so we're thinking like West Bloomfield, Commerce Township, 
probably go further west to like South Lyon, maybe even Brighton. We'll see what we can do. If I get really adventurous, we'll go east side, but that's, it's already two o'clock. It's a ways away. I don't know. 11th store of Salvation Army. I'm just totally skipping Goodwills because they have not had anything good. And I think if they saw an awesome Nike bag, those snakes would just take it out back and keep it. So, family store and donation center in, uh, where are we? Canton, Michigan. Uh, quick in, quick out. Electronics and a duffel bag. Let's do it. Will we ever find a duffel bag? Who knows? Stick around for the fun, though. Lady, get out of my way. Okay, VCRs, VCRs, VCRs. Got some decent stuff here. Um, it's a Panasonic. That's the same model as I bought earlier, so definitely buying. Wait, no, no, it's not. Sorry, it's a different model. Uh, Guitar Hero guitars. Those two are legit. The one on the right is some off-brand. I'm not going to even touch that. These two are uh, for PlayStation 2 wired controllers. They should go for between 40 and 60 bucks. That one is, uh, yeah, it's not a good one. Uh, what else do we have? Printers. I'm not touching those either. They're big and hard to ship. There is money in printers, but not the kind of money I'm looking for. Speaking of looking for, more bags. That's kind of a cool bag, but not what I need. Not what I need. Nice bags, no retro purple duffel bags. Why is this so hard? There must be thousands of these that have been donated over the past week. Why can't I find any? A lot of luggage. They need luggage come here. This is in Canton. Toys, uh, a ladder. Whoa, whoa, you know what? I bet some jackass who works here put it back here with the toys thinking nobody would buy it. Well, I'm buying it and I'm gonna sell it for like a hundred bucks, it was 15 bucks. How about over here? Uh, some cool hats here occasionally. I like that USA hat, but it's just a cheap promo hat. Now that's cool. That's an NFL Super Bowl bucket hat. It looks like it's in brand new condition. Uh, the brand you're going to see in a minute's new era. Some cool backpacks here, but nothing that would work for what I'm looking for. Uh, that hat's kind of cool, but I don't think it'd sell. Um, ooh, joint. There we go. That's a that's a navy hat, right? That's a that's a pretty neat one. I'm going to buy both of these, and I think they'll sell for about twenty bucks a piece. So uh, outside the Salvation Army, it was okay. No duffel bag still. But uh, here's the box I got full of stuff. Um, I'm not gonna go through everything because a lot of it's like small, mundane stuff, but two Guitar Hero guitars, some new in-box stuff, new in-box Scrabble, new in-box uh, a hard drive, probably a hundred bucks right there. But the two cool things I wanted to show you were hats, two hats I bought. I like hats, I'm wearing kind of a cool one right now. This right here is a, a old military hat. And what I want to show you about this is when you sell these, this uh, gold pattern, you can use the keyword scrambled eggs, and people know to look for that. And the second is a really cool NFL bucket hat. Um, all the Super Bowls and their logos are on there. Uh, on the 50, new era, I'm not sure much uh, about what this hat goes for. It's only a medium, so I can't wear it because I got a big ass head, but uh, someone's gonna like it, and uh, I think it's cool. At this point in the day, it's like comically uh, irritating that I haven't found a duffel bag yet. Lots and lots of toys. Uh, these are on the top of clothing racks. So you gotta look up if you're not tall like me. New in box, Nerf gun, Rebel, Rebels. It's a, a Nerf gun for girls is what they should call that. Uh, Lion King thing, that's probably worth some money if it's not missing any parts. It might be missing the balls though. I'll have to look that up and see. They always have balls in these things and the balls are really hard to find. Uh, this is, I mean, there's some good stuff here. New in box stuff, that's a, that's great to have, but not, not what I need. What is going on, guys? I can't figure out what the heck the deal is with these goddamn thrift stores. So I'm finding stuff, I'm finding good stuff here. Like, I mean, right down there, what I've got, but no, no duffel bags. There's no duffel bags here or at any of like the six or seven stores I've been to, and I'm kind of, 
I'm kind of getting irritated by that because I need, I said I would buy her one. I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be so easy, so easy to buy one. They're everywhere. And like, sure enough, none, <laughs> zero. The hunt continues. Electronics, those Wii Fit boards are too heavy to make money off of FBA, so I don't really touch them. You can make money off them, just not, not what I'm doing. Rock Band microphone, again, worth some money, but they don't sell very often. Uh, good for, you you know, a cheap USB mic if you need one. Uh, that's a heating tower, some clocks, just nothing. Nothing I can sell, really. Uh, I'm not seeing any, like, VCRs around here. I'm gonna keep looking, I'm gonna go, well, there, there's a VCR, I got one, I guess, uh, but no, no other ones, that's a Philips Magnavox, uh, reliable brand. Over here, we've got more bags, and I'm hoping, maybe, against all odds, I'll find her one, but as you can see, through my struggles, the trials, the tribulation, even though I found a nice Eagle Creek laptop case that I could have sold, I'm not buying it because I will not be defeated by a thrift store. I'm going to go until I find one. I swear I will. And it's too big. Uh, they're either like boring duffel bags that are like brown or little kids backpacks. Or mostly just those two. Uh, stuff, not anything that's worth like buying and giving as a gift. Or, you know, giving to someone with the intention of them enjoying it and thinking it's cool. Things only for utility. It is so nice out. I wanted to show you what I got right there outside of the store because uh, I have not been in the sun for eight months. This is just, this is heaven. Uh, the first thing I got is a DVD VCR combo, Sylvania. Pretty common model. The sales ranks right around uh, 100,000, I think. It'll sell for about a hundred bucks, and out of that I'll make uh, 80 bucks profit, and then it was 20 bucks uh, cost, so 60 bucks, not bad. I got this, this is just for myself. If you watch Rally Roots on, uh, on YouTube, they wear a lot of shirts like this. Well, it's a tank top, it's a, it's a pink tank top. And when I say they, I mean Ryan. <laughs> it a lot like that. Okay, now we get to the real part of the video. This video is sponsored by Del Taco. <laughs> no, it's not. I was getting mad thrifting fatigue. I've been up for, you know, not very, well, a long time, but I don't usually get tired this early. I think I've just been getting so excited. It's so sunny out. Got some food. This is like the 10th thrift store, and I have not found my girlfriend a goddamn duffel bag. I'm about to give up looking for anything else. I might even just start going on and asking people, hey, you got a duffel bag you want to sell me? You know anyone who has one? You got any of those duffel bags, huh? Because I feel like a jackass for saying I could buy one and not finding one. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go to more thrift stores. That's what I'm going to do. All right, this one right here. It's a Goodwill. There's a DAV down there. And then we're just gonna keep this train rolling, baby! Sorry for the abrupt cut. I, uh, I hope I got your attention. Here we are in a Goodwill. Some Zebco fishing rods. But they're so, so, uh, tangled up. I'm not even gonna bother looking them up because besides being sure that they're not worth very much money, if they were, it'd be a hassle to sell that, to fix them up. What I'm looking at now is uh, just like home appliance stuff. That's a uh, VHS cassette holder. Those sell for like 20, 30 bucks on eBay. I'm not doing that. They're a bitch to ship, but there is demand for them. Over to electronics, nothing really. I'm liking more printers. Uh, every I think this has been been uh, searched through by another reseller. And oh, but they missed that. <laughs> um. Not always, you know, sometimes people just look for the big winners, the DVD VCR combos, and they miss the tiny stuff. That's that's gonna sell for 60 bucks probably. Um, I'll look it up. You'll see a you'll see a screenshot like I do sometimes. But beyond that, I'm not really seeing much uh, much in terms of winners over here. Duffel bag time. Let's go. Come on, fingers crossed. Root for me. Duffel bag. Duffel bag. Bag! 
Let's get a duffel bag for my girlfriend so she doesn't leave me. I'm just kidding. She wouldn't do that. But I do want to give her a nice one. Wait, 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 wait. Down there? Do I? Yes! Yes! That's going to be good, I think. Oh, yeah. That's going to be real good. Okay, so uh, I found this bag here. Champion purple bag. It's the right size. I think it might be one she likes. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, we got one. We got a bag right here. It's, uh, let me see if you can see, yeah. Champion bag. It's a champion duffel bag. I paid $3 for it. It doesn't smell bad. No tears. Uh, I'm gonna wash it before I give it to her because I'm a good, thoughtful boyfriend, but um, I think she's gonna like it. And it sure beats spending 75 or a million or whatever it was dollars trying to charge you at Nike.com or Lululemon or wherever the heck she's trying to buy stuff. This, this bag, this bag will do it. Walking into the Motown thrift store. Again, we got the uh, duffel bag already. So I'm just looking for stuff to make money and like hopefully a really, really cool bag that I can surprise her with. But uh, that, that one I got will be okay, I think. Electronic section of this thrift store. Uh, yeah, not looking good, is it guys? Some calculators, maybe that's worth some money. Uh, I'll look it up and see, but uh, for three bucks, probably not worth my time. Another one, uh, but they just want more than I want to pay for these things. Uh, that could be cool. It looks like it's for a toy set, though. It's not just a, a standalone thing. I'm going to give it a look up, see if I can find it. Maybe it is. DVD player, stereo receiver, DVD player, uh, a phone or something, hair curlers, a lot of irons. Just not stuff that anyone wants to buy, at least not the kind of things that I sell. Those cameras, I'm going to give that a look up. Uh, sometimes I can FBA these older cameras for, you know, 50 bucks or so. Uh, I don't test them. I just say as is. I'm probably going to put that back, though. It's not really what I'm looking to do. 10 million George Foremans later, still nothing. So these bags look like they've been picked through, or at least someone looked at them already. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like because of how bad the electronics were, I'm not going to find anything of value here. That color scheme is right. She loves those colors, but it's like a lunchbox. What's what's going on? So that was a complete bust. I have not gone to a thrift store that big and not bought anything in years, ever probably. But they, So what happened is, this is Motown Thrift. It used to be the DAV. Motown Thrift bought this or bought the location or something. And um, I think they're cherry picking hardcore. Like there was no electronics, a lot of clothes. So maybe they're just buying truckloads of clothes and then trying to get donations because they have a donation. Uh, whoops, where'd it go? Right there, donation part right there. Um, so I don't know what the deal is because it was just not good stuff. There was like a camera there I could have bought or some shoes, but nothing that would be like guaranteed money and nothing that's like, worth my time, you know, compared to uh, anything else I've bought today. So, on uh, Motown Thrift, but um, maybe it's just a bad day, I don't know. Okay, this would be the final thrift store of the day. I am walking right into it. It's uh, a Salvation Army on Ford Road, and we're in like, Romulan? No, I don't know where we are actually. Uh, it's on the Middle Belt, Dearborn area. Um, let's see what we have inside. I've ran into a few people that I know watch the channel who uh, in this thrift store. So if you go to this store, it's in Garden City. I can say now after the fact, I mess it up later in the video. If you if you see me there, some big lumbering oaf, say hi. Uh, I'll probably be situated back here in the electronics section because I am seeing some winners. All right, Philips Magnavox. That's going to be a buy or at least a, worth a look up. And then a Sony Super Betamax player. I'm going to buy that too. I'm just showing you what we all got. Uh, a lot of like big ass DVD players that no one's buying. But a few um, obsolete electronics that are worth our time. You'll see them after the video. I always love checking out golf clubs. I'm an avid golfer. If you're still watching the video, 
Uh, I'm going to start a new golf channel. You should, uh, you know, check out for that. I mean, if you're still here in the video, a half an hour into it or whatever it is, I feel like you're looking for more entertainment. You want to see some golf stuff. I love golf stuff. Maybe you do too. Uh, back to back to your scheduled programming, though. Nothing here I can sell. Uh, cleats, helmets. You know, like honestly, for someone else, an eBay seller, they might love this shit. But me, uh, I don't like. You know, if you've seen the warehouse, you know that I screwed up and I hold way too much inventory. The stuff I have in here is just like back stock. So even though it's good, I'm I'm holding off. So, two things right there, a Betamax player and a VHS player. Same uh, VCR that I bought at one of the other Salvation Armies is pretty cool. The Betamax player, I can't really test it, but I bought it for $350. And so what I'm gonna do is just take it to an auction and they go for about 50 bucks at this auction. So that's what I'll do. I could test it, you know, squeeze out probably hundred bucks, but I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna take the time. I'll just take the, $47 profit right now. All right, guys, that is it. Ignore, uh, ignore my laundry. <laughs> this is today's haul, not the best, not the worst, but, um, you know, my main goal today was to buy that duffel bag, and I was kind of just, uh, earning whatever profit I could along the way. I'm gonna go golfing now. It's gonna be a solid day. It's like 75 out, and, uh, I'll see you guys later.